the Bugatti Tourbillon really very closely not only inspired by the car we really took components over of the car to design this watch um, especially the dashboard as you might know the car is going to be a going to have a mechanical dashboard which is made in Switzerland made with our partners concept together which is also building our movement so here in the center we are indicating you the time in a retrograde uh, system with jumping hours uh, on the right you see a flying tourbillon which is rotating 30 seconds around its axis so with the sapphire crystal top bridge to make it as transparent as possible and on the left we have uh, also for something very new a double power reserve indication one for the movement and one for the animation which is seeing it sitting on the same axis to indicate you the different power reserves so when i turn the watch you will see the inspiration and the, the, the how close we are to the car the design language is very very similar and it's also a very close collaboration so when we design when we have ideas for the bugatti pieces we really sit together with the bugatti team as well so it's a close partnership e anyway so since we signed the contract in 2019 the goal is to present every second year a new new bugatti bugatti uh, watch so this is now our third third creation after the first the bugatti chiron the jean bugatti which was a double retrograde digital chronograph more classical look and now the new Bugatti Tourbillon. We are in the world of animations one of the leaders of um, making watches with spectacular animations and here we have um, the famous engine animation just since the car is now carrying or is is um, powered by a V16 engine we also have here the V16 animation on demand pushing the pusher we have the 16 pistons uh, going up and down in a very high speed so to obtain this high speed for the tourbillon and as well for the engine animation we have a double barrel system for each which you can nicely see on the back we have two barrels for the animation and two barrels for for the movements we have a 48 hours power reserve on this watch and once you wind um, you wind the power reserve for the animation you can't start you can start the engine at least 20 times and what is also very nice here on the back you can see nicely crankshaft of the engine which is really uh, well it's probably the longest miniature crankshaft in the world huh? So the tendency is to reduce the size, make the watches more wearable, but still having the famous Jacob & Co twist. And here the efforts were really to, to ha have a nice um, way sitting on the wrist, has a very nice um, feeling on the wrist, the weight, and well, it's still a massive piece. It's a Bugatti piece. It's like the Bugatti car, you will always recognize it on the streets. You need to put a lot of efforts to reduce the size. Uh, one millimeter in watchmaking is already a lot. Huh? In height, in, in diameter and, and all this. So here we are at the maximum we could reduce. That's why the case is so close to the movement. And when I again release the engine, that's also why the sound is so much, um, let's say, louder, the speed of the pistons one reason and also that everything is closer to the case so it's going to resonate a little bit more obviously i'm interested in uh, what's the first step in creating a new mechanism when mr jacob arab approached you with new idea for creating something totally different we start with an idea it can be from jacob most of the time jacob of course he's a very creative person but we have a creative team we have a development team everybody can uh, participate and everybody can and share his ideas. So we have several things to, to think of. Obviously is the movement. Uh, if the idea is about a new, let's say complication or a new animation. So we sit together with our movement suppliers. These are our very close partners. And we discuss how we can, um, and let's say, 
built this movement and you see very important you see this nicely on the Bugatti Chiron on the Bugatti Tourbillon is especially the design so the this is all a symbiosis together movement and and case design and since our designers we have <clears throat> very talented designers here in Geneva and we have also designers in New York we have uh, this big team so um, this is all together movement one side um, but the case design, the, the, the decorations also need to be designed together with the movement because often enough it's, it's one, really one thing. You, when you compare also our watches with all, let's say, other watch brands is that you can straight away see that the, the movement and the case was designed together. Well, what's the longest uh, process in making of mechanism? Development, uh, research, Making. Well, I can take the example of the Astronomia, for example. The first Astronomia took more than three years because it was, it, it, it was a pioneering job. Yeah? So it, the idea, probably making a, a watch with planets turning, um, have been already thought of. But to execute it in the way and execute it that everything is right, three-dimensional, rotating and floating. Yeah? So obviously there was no experience on that, there was no, let's say, example, so everything needed to be designed and, and tried out from scratch. So it was more than three years and you have to develop uh, uh, the movement, you have to develop, it went through all kind of different um, design stages, the case design, the movement design, even Jacob uh, wanted to influence, of course, the the look of the movement, but Jacob is a, as being a very aesthetic, aesthetical person. He's really, um, for him, it's important that the movement also um, um, looks nice, how as he says. And we know it from the minute repeater. The hammers need to be polished. Yeah, I have a good example. And we have this um, twin turbo watch with the minute repeater. And Jacob said, "I want this bridge also polished." And we said, "Well, usually you don't polish on the minute repeater the bridges. You polish the hammers." And he's very simple, he's saying, why? Why are you not doing that? He says, it's, it's a tradition. I said, well, I like my watch that is, the bridge is polished. Well, now that this makes the job uh, twice hard because the, the bridge is not made of steel. Usually it's brass or it's gold and now start to polish that. So we had to change the material of the bridge to be able to polish it as the same quality, this famous black mirror polishing. So when you look at the movement and now we are agreeing, it looks fantastic, yeah? And that's how Jacob is. This one, the new Bugatti Tourbillon, is the third generation of watches you made with Bugatti. But uh, on these two, we can see some similarities. Yes, uh, yes. In Bugatti Chiron, <laughs> is GCAM 36, and this is 55. Right. Uh, both of them have animation of uh, let's say engine, mm -hmm. W316 and V16. Where is the similarities and what's the big, biggest difference between those two? So by appearance it looks like that there, is, uh, there are similarities, but it's like you take a car with four wheels, you compare a Porsche from today and a Porsche from 10 years later. The similarity is only that we have an engine animation, but it's a completely separate um, development. These are two separate developed movements and cases, so here uh, on the Chiron, uh, which was the first uh, watch with an engine animation, it was about to present the W16 engine combined with the beautiful 30 degrees inclined uh, flying tourbillon and the whole movement, as you can nicely see on the corners, are, is suspended. So here we took ideas from the automotive world and incorporated it into this watch. The next um, the Bugatti uh, Tourbillon yeah, has the theme of an animation, but now we are in a V16 constellation. And here the focus is mainly also on the time indication, which since it took over the dashboard of the, the watch. So we have a retrograde time indication. We have a flying Tourbillon, which is rotating twice the speed in 30 seconds. And we took care also of the of the power reserve. So we have a power reserve for the movement and a power reserve for the animation so that the owner knows how many times or how often, how much power he still has to 
use the movement and the animation. Chiron with the W16 engine animation. Mm -hmm. In a sapphire crystal block, we have the titanium pistons going up and down. At the same time, we have two turbochargers turning on the side. And we were talking about the shock absorbers in the corner. The movement is really floating. And the Bugatti Tourbillon on demand. We have the V16, 16 pistons in a V shape are going up and down. A lot faster as you can see and hear.